Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a really quick empties video. I have a huge bag full of them, but I'm only going to do 10 because I feel like going through this entire bag is going to be crazy. Um, so anyway, I have 10 things. The first thing is uh, my Dior Show Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. I really love this stuff. Uh, I've been using it for so many years now. They came out with a newer one that's like the 3D version. So I bought that. I'm trying it out. I think I might actually prefer this one better, the original. Um, but yeah, I haven't been using the other one long enough to even know if there's a huge difference. I just feel like that one really separates your lashes. Um, and they make them like, I don't know, like more pointy. This one adds more volume. So it just really defines... Uh, it really depends on if you want a mascara primer that defines or one that adds volume. I prefer the volume, so that's that. Um, the next thing that I used up is the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This is for your hair. I got this in my Sephora Play Box. I just kept it in the shower, and I basically use it like as a conditioner for like the ends of my hair. And I didn't really notice very much of a difference, so I don't think that I'm going to be purchasing the full size. And I think the smell, the smell, I, I kind of like the scent because it's kind of like a coconut type scent. It's not necessarily coconut, but it kind of reminds me of it. But yeah, I just didn't do enough for my hair and my ends are always really dry, so just always looking out for something different for that. Uh, the next thing that I use up, this is a Harajuku Lovers G perfume sample, and it's so small, and I didn't really like the scent that much. Uh, it's just, obviously, it's just a little sample size, so I will not be repurchasing the full size of that. Um, I also used a Buxom, this is a mini lipstick, this, and the shade scratched off, but I really, really liked it, obviously, as you can see. It came in like a duo set that my friend got me for Christmas, and I really, really liked it, so I was kind of sad to see it go, but yeah, it just took me so long to use up this little lipstick, and it just kind of made me realize like how long it takes to use up a lipstick or a lip product like that, so it just really put in perspective like how much I should be buying, so obviously not that much, but lip products are definitely one of the things that I like to buy the most, so that's probably going to be pretty difficult. Uh, the next thing that I used up is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair uh, Synchronized Recovery Complex 2. This is just a serum that I got. It's a mini. Um, I got it with a gift with purchase like a, maybe a month or two back. And I've been using it just like at night. I haven't really noticed that much of a difference as well with this. But I mean, I think it's definitely better than not using any serum. So yeah. Uh, the next thing that I use up is a Gilchrist and Soames body lotion. This is just a mini size. I think I got it from like a hotel. And I really like this stuff. It was so, it smells so fresh. And um, it was such a lightweight but moisturizing lotion. And I know that they actually do sell products. So if I ever run into them again, I probably would purchase a full size of that. I also finished this Mayfair sugar scrub. Sea in Sea Lily Jasmine. This is so gross and dirty. Um, I got it from Target. It was like ten dollars, and I thought it'd be like way more scrubby, like more abrasive on my skin. But it was almost too gentle for me, for a sugar scrub or a scrub in general. Because I like it when it's like super, like you know, it kind of hurts almost. So yeah, I will not be purchasing a full size of that. But the scent on that was really, really wonderful. So if you like a really gentle um, exfoliator, I would definitely recommend that because the smell was amazing and it was $10 for that big old tub. I also finished, uh, well, this, I didn't really finish it, but it got really tacky. The snail polish, this is the Butter London uh, in West End Wonderland. It's just like this gold glitter. I actually have it on my nails right now. Um, it's just a little bit too tacky to use up. So I'm just going to toss it because obviously I have so many more nail polish colors I could be using. I did get quite a bit of use from this. Um, you can't tell, but I did finish a bunch of it. It just got really tacky, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss it. And then I also finished a Crabtree and Evelyn Somerset Meadow Ultra Moisturizing Hand Therapy. I really like these ones, uh, the Crabtree and Evelyn, Evelyn Hand Lotions. Um, they are so good. I usually use the Lassitan ones, but then I found these. My, I actually like them a bit more. Um, the scents on these are also fresher and cleaner as well so I really like that and I think these are much cheaper like the Lositon ones I think are 11 now and these are like seven or eight and they sometimes they come in like sets and I get them off Nordstrom's so I really highly recommend these if you're looking for a good hand moisturizer 
And then the last thing, this is huge. This is my bottle of shampoo. Uh, this was the smooth, oh, AG Hair Cosmetics Smooth Sulfate-Free Argon Shampoo. I did like this stuff. It's a bit, it's a bit thick, to be honest. And like this, the scent on it was not my favorite. I really like, you know, like herbal essences, like Pantene Pro-V. So these higher end um, shampoo and conditioner hair care products, I feel like the scent on them is not really something that I like and I don't look forward to using it. So it's almost like a chore to use this, but it was really good for my hair. So yeah, those are my 10 empties. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.